Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I am going to review, um, let's put this right here, this book. It's called Invisible Ties by Badia Rettel. I talked about it, it was a Jewish author, wrote about Jewish stuff. If you don't know about new Jewish stuff, I wouldn't recommend reading this. This is just for people that are Jewish and kind of know the concept of, like, religiousness, I guess. Um, I wanted to say about this book, I'm definitely rating this, like, three or two stars, because it wasn't, in. it annoyed me a little bit, because... One of the characters, this guy named Yudi, it freaked and annoyed me because he, he, um, had like this musical talent and the parents were being so annoying about it and just like thought if they can send him off to school, like a boarding school, that like he wouldn't, like, he wouldn't get, like, like he, his talent would go away. And that he would just forget about singing and something he enjoys doing. I hated it a little bit. Like, I actually hated this book. But, like, I'm giving it three stars because it was kind of enjoyable. But, like, it's just annoying. Because, like, how do you tell... how If your child has is talented, you shouldn't be throwing away their talent. And send them to a boarding school so they can change their mind. And I don't like how the character, you know like, evolves in the future. It's just, it was a little annoying, the main character, one of the main characters, and so the secret, I'm not going to go over what the secret is, but basically there's just two people, one person that's been hiding that they're adopted, and then one person that was adopted, and it was, like, two people get coming together. That was a good part, but overall, I don't really, I didn't really enjoy it that much. I feel like two or three stars for me, two stars because I didn't enjoy it pretty well, but three stars because it was okay decent it was decent writing it's just I didn't like the fact that when you have a child you're supposed to encourage them it and I didn't like how this Jewish stuff like kind of like like they should be learning more Torah or whatever um I didn't like that like I felt like if the person has a talent you can do both you can learn Torah and you could and you could have a musical career there's plenty of people that learn learn Torah even that I know, and that are really good singers. Like, I didn't understand, I did not like it, because it's, like, just telling, uh, telling society that, that, it's literally telling society that you shouldn't, you shouldn't do anything you're good at, you should just focus on one thing, and if that's learning Torah, and that's all you should focus on. He wasn't getting distracted from Torah. He was just doing something he loved. And his parents just didn't seem to understand that. It's it's just terrible, this book. Because it's like, it's basically telling your... I don't recommend it. I'm going to give it to my parents to read. I just, I didn't like it. Because it, it really annoyed me. Because it's really, it's like pushing your child aside. Because they're, they're good at, they're good at something. And then you just decide, okay, maybe he should go to Israel. And learn a lot that so he shouldn't sing anymore because that's what he really likes to do. It's like saying I ha I love art and my parents hate me because I want to go publish I want because the art cuz basically he got a record deal and like they wouldn't let him get a record deal because he was so good at singing. It's basically saying my art is not good enough for the museum, right? Cuz this museum okay, the meals I'm not I'm making this up, but the museum wants to put my art that's my art in the back by the way the museum wants me to wants to put my artwork in the gallery right it's like saying my parents are saying no to that because I'm actually it's like something that's proud you know it was so mixed up I just I cannot it was just annoying me so much this book okay was it worth $25 no it would have been worth like $10 or less but I thought it would be good it was like it was an interesting back what it was describing but I don't recommend it, Invisible Ties by Bot Your Ruddle. It's on Amazon if you want to purchase it. It's just, it's just that, it's just, there's so many things I did not like about it. And I'm going to making, I'm making a new series to this uh, channel where I talk about every book I read. So every book I read, I'm going to make a video because I, I have a hard time remembering like the book after like 10 books later, I'll forget what I read. So I need to, um make a video to discuss this so when I look back I can be like oh I read that book let me talk to you about it because I just I didn't like how they the, threw their child's talent away in the garbage and said go learn Torah in Israel 
and when you come thinking that's a good idea so that th- that he doesn't have to be like so that he that he won't become a superstar or anything because you could be a superstar and still learn Torah you know that there's like double it is just I don't know it annoyed me but there's my review it's like I'm just gonna rate it like two stars I think because it's just terrible terrible book honestly I'm not gonna lie not one star but two stars I don't think three stars it deserves it no okay thanks for watching bye